when he was overworked or he was under too much stress from the people who he was working with, he'd just come home and you'd hear him sitting there just crying because he didn't know what to do. Sometimes mum used to sit there as long as she could, sit and talk to him. If he couldn't think, he'd get up and dance. You could hear him singing. And if we were in the room doing whatever, and we could hear him sing, we'd all join in with his songs. You'd hear the whole house start singing. And it was like from one room to the next room, it was just catchy. And so in the end, everyone was walking around the house singing the same song that dad was singing. It just went like this, it went, um, Owe tuli, owe tuli, owe tuli, owe You could always tell when he was homesick, he'd paint pictures of home. It was just things that reminded him of home he just drew. And he cried about it too. Because he was very emotional when he get to talk about Mir. He was, he was homesick in the, in the sense that he, he wanted to go back there. I mean, he was driven all his life by this island of his. It was a real obsession. This island of Mir was, was like where you go when you go to sleep. favourite song. It's Mom, look was... spider-in. That's all right. It's a money spider. See? And he just sing it all the time. And that was... And you knew where Dad was when he sang that song. If I die, my kids will not be able to speak my language if I don't teach them at this stage. And, of course, that led to an idea that we must be able to retain our identity and culture, and this can only be taught to our kids through our own education system. Eddie's determination that his children should share the songs and the language of Mur drove him to set up the first black community school in Australia in 1973. With Mrs. are um, doing, also doing craft work with, with other things. They seem very happy, particularly when, they, when they're engaged in craft work. Before this, school had always been the place where black children learned white culture and lost their own. They kept on saying to me, if we, are, if we are able to have our own school where we could have uh, the, the white curriculum is being taught there by the white teachers, we could have some white teachers come into the school, but at the same time we can have the elders to come in and to teach our kids on the cultural side of things, plus the language. And uh, we could also teach them the, uh, the crafts and, um, and to plant gardens. <laughs> 